Hi guys, uh, some beginner's chords. Uh, again, there'll be a link in the description below for uh, a tab on how to play these. Uh, these are the basic chords. You might have heard of this, the four chord trick. Okay, now these chords are really important to know because they are probably the most common chords that, uh, that you can use. You might have seen the video called Axis of Awesome where a guy plays about 50 songs just using these same chords. So the first one we're gonna do is C major. So C major, the way we play C major is with your third finger on the third fret of the A string, your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, your G string we leave open, and your first finger is on the first fret. Like so, okay. So it should sound like this. All right. Um, for this exercise, the strumming pattern that we're going to use, we're just going to go one and two and three and four and like that. Okay. So for every chord, what, um, for for every beat, it's going to be two strums. One and two and three. Next chord is a G chord. Now, I'm gonna give you two ways of doing this, okay? If you wanna keep it simple to start off with, you can simply put your third finger on the bottom string and just play the bottom four uh, strings, okay? Now, it's important that you don't get the other ones. Sounds dreadful, okay? So you're gonna go one and two and three and four. If you're a more advanced player, then you want to use your middle finger on the top and your first finger on the A string on the second fret. So you've got middle finger on third fret of the top string, first finger on the A string on the second fret. The next three, oop, hang on. The next three are going to be open, and then your bottom string, you're going to have your third finger on the third fret. You could, if you wanted, Use your little finger if you find that easier. There's no rule against that at all. Um, again, same rhythm again. One and two and three and four. And... All right. Next one is the chord of A minor. Now, I want you to think back to your C chord that you had earlier on. Okay, again, the C chord, third finger is on the third fret of the A string. Middle finger is on the second fret of the D string. The G is open, and your first finger is on the first fret of the B. So that's a C chord, but we're gonna do A minor. And the reason why I wanted to remind you of the C chord because it's only one note different, okay? And that's this note here. So think about your C chord shape. Hopefully if you've mastered that one by now, then you can just simply switch to A minor really quickly like and, and easily like that, okay? So what I've done there is I've moved my third finger to the second fret of the G string. Okay, so that's an A minor, that's a C. As I said, there's only one note different. Okay. I hope you can hear this alright. I can just turn it up a little bit. Okay. So, um, what we've done so far? C, G, A minor. Again, the strumming. The strumming pattern I want you to use one and two and three and four, G and two and three and four, A minor and two and three and four. Uh, the final chord in this sequence is a chord of F. Now, again, two ways of playing this one. I'll do the easy way first. The easy way, technically, is an F major seven chord. I want you to start with your first finger on the second fret of the B string, your middle finger on the, th uh, I'll start that again, sorry. First finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger or middle finger on the second fret of the G string, your third finger is gonna go on the third fret of the D string, like that. Now, that's an F major seven, okay. If you want to challenge yourself a bit more, then F 
should be done as what we call a bar chord. Uh, what a bar chord is, is when you hold down um, more than one string with one finger, okay, which is a little bit more challenging. Um, so to play an F correctly, what I'm doing is my first finger is holding down the B and the E string on the first fret, and then the rest of the chord is the same as on a standard F chord. Sorry, my guitar is a little bit out of tune. So, best way to approach that, with your first finger, you wanna make sure that you are as tight to the first fret as you can possibly be. Always remember, as a rule, it's the frets that make the connection, not your finger, okay? So you, rather than squeeze your, your hand uh, to try and get those notes to connect, just try and move your finger a little bit more tight up against that fretboard to get a better connection. Okay, once again, so that's your third finger on the third fret of the D string. Your middle finger, second fret G. Your first finger is holding down the B and the E string. Now, we're only gonna be strumming the bottom four strings, and the ones we're holding down, basically. So, the main thing, chords are quite straightforward. The difficult thing is changing from one to the other. So again, you wanna practice this, probably practice it without a metronome to start off with. Just get used to changing the chords one after the other. Don't worry about uh, about timing particularly until you've got those chords absolutely nailed. So your first one, your C major chord. All right, so the exercise is gonna go like this. One and two and three and four and G and two and three and four, A minor and two and three and four and F or F major seven. Again, two, three, and four, and G, and two, and three, and four, and A minor, two, and three, and four, and F, and two, and three, and four, and C. All right. Again, any problems with that, please uh, send me an email, which is in the uh, link below. Thank you. See you soon.